what's going on gas gang yes we are back with another epic og battles and today it's an all aldi affair guys this is going to be sick so stay tuned and let's get it So yes guys, as the intro said, today we are back doing the OG battles. We're calling it OG on tour because we're in a slightly different location. And as you see behind me is an all Audi affair. And guys, of course, these cars are not on the same platform. We have a crazily tuned family estate car versus an all out supercar, but we're hoping power to weight, a few other differences, engine gearbox is gonna make it a cool and interesting race. Guys, I'm not gonna waffle too much. Let's get over and meet the cars and their owners. In partnership with RaceLogic, first up on the battles today, we've got Simon and his 916 brake horsepower Audi RS6 tuned by Bevo Tuning. Mods include an SRM intake, uprated fuel pumps, turbo systems turbos, a turbo systems for all, tyre wastegates and a 20% methanol fuel mix. It weighs 1950 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 469 brake horsepower per tonne and drives all four wheels via its 8-speed traditional auto tiptonic transmission. and Simon's stepping up against Nick and his Gen 2 Audi R8 V10 Plus, which is actually bone stock. No mods on this bad boy, but an impressive factory figure of 610 brake horsepower from its naturally aspirated 5.2 litre V10. The Audi R8 weighs 1580 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 386 brake horsepower per tonne and drives all four wheels through its seven speed dual clutch transmission. So Simon, how do you reckon you're going to get on today? Um, hopefully should, should do okay. Uh -huh. Against the R8. Yep. Um, wouldn't mind racing the bike later. Uh -huh. We'll see how we get on. Yeah. It's windy. Um, car's half ready, but we're here. Yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, you're good. fairly confident you're going to beat the R8 though, yeah? Yeah. yeah. In all events? Hopefully, yeah. Yeah? yeah. All right, cool. Well, yeah, good luck. Out. Yeah, that's it. So Nick, in the R8. You've got, a, you've got a tall challenge today, bro. 900 brake horsepower RS6. How are you going to get on? Well, we'll find out. I've seen him on the roads a couple of times and it hasn't ended that well, but... For you? If I may... <laughs> yeah, for me. Oh. <laughs> if I maybe just clip his rear end, I think that's where I'm going to get the advantage. Dirty tactics. So, yeah. I like it. It'll be a vegetable in the field. <laughs> well, good luck, bro. Yeah, thank Have you Have a good one, much. man. Right, speak to you later. Nice one. First up, it's zero to 60s and it's finally dry. Plus, we've got two four-wheel drive Audis, so traction shouldn't be an issue. Okay, so let's just get a quick sound check. And the VBOX PBT starts recording as soon as Simon starts moving, so as soon as he's ready, he's just gonna go for it. And Simon manages a great sub three second time of 2.94 seconds. So let's just take a quick look at the OG Battles all wheel drive 0 to 60 leaderboard. And as you can see, Simon goes eighth. However, unfortunately, after his first run, he's encountered boost control issues, only allowing him to run it on low boost. He estimates that to be about 750 brake horsepower, which actually gives him a new power to weight ratio near on identical to the R rates of 384 brake horsepower per tonne. So things are about to get interesting. So let's just get a quick sound check. And that was an insane launch catapulting Nick to 60 in just 2.85 seconds. So let's just take a quick look at the OG Battles all-wheel drive 0-60 to leaderboard and as you can see, Nick drops into 5th position. Round 1 goes to the Audi R8. Next up is the quarter mile test. This should be close. And 
the Audi RS6 hits a great time of 10.92 seconds. So let's just take a quick look at the OG Battles all-wheel drive quarter mile leaderboard. And as you can see, Simon drops into eighth position with a time of 10.92 seconds and a trap speed of 128 miles per hour. Let's see what the R8 can do. All right, I honestly think the um, automatic gearbox is probably better than me. All right. <laughs> an incredibly close time of 10.95 seconds. FYI guys, I didn't realize I was actually going to be filmed today, so, well, if I knew I would put my makeup on. <laughs> so let's just take a quick look at the OG Bell's all-wheel drive quarter mile leaderboard. And as you can see, Nick falls into ninth position just behind Simon with a time 0.03 seconds slower at 10.95 seconds, but a trap speed of 126 miles per hour. So that makes it one all. Round two goes to the RS6. And now it's time for the drag race. And judging by the times, it's all gonna be down to reactions. Let's see how this goes down. and the Audi RS6 gives the R8 a free car length Gappuccino. Nick was actually sleeping on the start line, so this is the second attempt of the race, and he flopped the start again. So unfortunately for him, the RS6 takes the win and the round. Honestly, a launch on that thing is superb. Or I should just become <laughs> I think it's the latter. Next up is the roll race. Let's see if this can even things up. No boost. Get okay, let's go. Well, we've got 1.2 bar. Is that enough to beat an R8? We'll see. I'm going to have it in manual because I'll end up in the cabbage field. Also remember, my profession is accountancy and he does this for a living. <laughs> Very close. He's gonna be a smug. He's gonna be smug. To be fair, I think the excitement gets to me a bit. <laughs> and man, that was crazy close, but the Audi RS6 manages to beat the Audi R8 by about half a car length. And once again, the Audi RS6 takes the round. Simon. How are you feeling? Very good, yeah. Yeah, not too bad, three out yeah. of four. Yeah, I could have done better. I would like to have beat him a bit harder, but obviously the car's playing up a bit today, but 
Um, we've done well for low boost. Yep. Um, conditions aren't great, but no excuses. Everyone's here. We're having fun. And uh, I won. Yeah. So You took the W, bro. I did. Congratulations, man. Thanks for coming, bro. So, Nick, unfortunately, it was a bit of a loss today. Yeah, it wasn't the best of days, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I found... Good some, fun. Yeah, good, good fun. Yeah. I found your reaction time on some of the, 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 the races from a dig was slightly slower oh, yeah. than um, Simon's. <laughs> <laughs> but you still go. managed a great uh, quarter mile, Simon. Yeah, yeah, still. Like I said, it's just good to get out today. That's it. Just like, Telling you, like you said, thanks for um, highlighting that on the video. <laughs> <laughs> Reaction times are slow, but like you said, you've let the old dog have his fun. <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it. Main thing is, you had a good time, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks for this, yeah. My pleasure, bro. All right, guys, so that is a wrap, and what an epic race. I guarantee you did not think it was going to be that close. Granted, the RS6 had some power issues, but even so, it was so, so close. And today, unfortunately, for the R8, the supercar, it went one way. It was 3-1. The family estate won. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed today. And if you have enjoyed today, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Make sure you stay tuned for another epic OG battles. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.